What we're finding even outside the provider world is a whole range of disruptive ideas, disruptive technologies, disruptive business models, disruptive value chains that are arising to try to solve these problems in some way. They're all over the place, like doctors are going after the idea of the medical home, which is like, pay me to be a doctor to be your doctor, to do the kinds of things you kind of expect doctors to do, like to look after your health. You know, pay me a little more to do that. And then a similar idea, concierge, the difference mainly being you pay me to be your doctor, whether it's $800 a year or $4,000 a year, and I will do these specific types of tests, and I will do the, I will look after you, which is actually, uh, I'd like that. Now, I have Kaiser myself, so I have a doctor who actually does that, and I don't have to pay them extra. But this is someone trying to cut off a piece of that model and just say, for me personally, as a doctor, I want to be your doctor and you pay me to do that, and that's outside of whatever arrangements you have with, uh, with the health plans. There is urgent care. Doctors across the country are popping up and saying, okay, we're going to open our doors, you walk in, we'll take care of you, and we'll work out the insurance or whatever. This is obviously a growing model. Concierge emergency care. In Texas, there is a, they've just opened one. It opened January 10th. You get in a traffic accident or something, you say, take me to the good place. And they not only will see you immediately, and it's very comfortable, and all those sort of things. They even have an Xbox your kids can play on while you're getting fixed up. Concierge emergency care. I never would have thought of that. Retail clinics obviously are a disruptive business model. And they're of great concern to hospitals and other providers. And uh, this is Deloitte, is making the, the guess that we have just, we're just in a flattening phase, because obviously growth has slowed. But they believe, if they look at the underlying factors that are driving this market, that they're going to go up steeply over the next few years. And I believe they're correct. Now, some of the people who are involved in this, like the Minute Clinic, are doing even more in the sense that, especially this group here, is working with the Minute Clinic people, to drive the care for chronic disease through the clinics because that's where their customers are. That's what's convenient to their customers. And see, convenience to me is a social and medical value because people will not do the right thing by their bodies because it's inconvenient or it's expensive or they can't get the kids to school in time to get to the appointment. Convenience is not just being nice to the consumer. Convenience is about health. It's about, it's about staying alive. People actually miss their cancer treatments because they, the bus schedule will not get them there and home on time. So this, this, to me, is a very powerful thing where people are stepping forward, various American companies stepping forward in various ways saying, how can we solve this problem? And here's a good example of it. And here's Microsoft. Microsoft has this health vault for your health records. And Google has Google Health. What's their business model? As far as I can tell, there isn't one. They're just saying, let's try this. They have a lot of partners, people who have, who have stepped forward to partner with Google Health, including Minute Clinic and RX American, Walgreens, Cleveland Clinic, to say, yeah, you can be the depository for the information. That's the business you're good at. You're good at holding on to information and keeping it under appropriate conditions of security and keeping it appropriately transparent to those who need it and have a right to it. That's what you're good at.